The castle drop is a strategy that is as old as the game itself. I personally spent a great deal of time in my younger years dropping castles and towers in AI's bases because, well, they had absolutely no clue how to deal with it. But also later on, I developed strategies with maybe the Franks, for example, it would build cheap castles next to enemy walls on Arena, right? And that's where you see it the most. You see castle drops on a map where people would normally stay inside their walls. There is a risk going forward, but there is certainly not as much risk as what you're going to see here. I've seen many castle drops, and I've seen many strategies incorporating castles. This player is bold. This player takes more risks with castle drops than maybe one should, and also does so incorporating a civilization, which isn't necessarily known for castle drops, and on a map where I've maybe never seen it before. Now, I encountered this player live, and I then decided to look through all of his games. And this video is a summary of every game that I've seen from this player. Enjoy. Ladies and gents, welcome to Acropolis. Don't know why I was so weird with my intro, but we've got a 1v1 game here, Acropolis, uh, where players start on a hill. And there's other things we'll talk about, but that's the basic thing where you've got stone, you've got gold, you've got berries, you've got food, but there's not as much wood up here. And eventually you need to go down that hill to the open spaces on the sides or the middle. Um, so in the yellow, playing as the Vietnamese, which is quite nice, because as you can see, they will know exactly where the enemy is located, is Dragulevic. Dragulevic? Dragulevic, yes. Um, and then on the other side, against Dragulevic, is GG Napoli 34, uh, playing as the Spanish, which is an exciting save to see, because they did receive a slight buff recently, where every technology they research brings them 20 gold. And I actually haven't played a game with the Spanish yet. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting back on the grind, I think Thursday, uh, and playing a lot of games, because I really want to see how that feels. Uh, I think there's a lot of flexibility and some cool things you can do. And uh, don't worry, though, viewers. I have a game that I'll be casting. It was the new Spanish versus the new Vikings. I'll be casting that tomorrow. Um, and, and basically, I'm just looking for you know, good content and seeing all these civilizations in use. Uh, but blue is clearly not interested in the tiny wood lines. Uh, Blue's going to go all the way down here to chop wood, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I, I also don't think it's necessarily bad to commit for the wood at the top of the hill. And actually what yellow has done is yellow is just going to take the straggler trees for now. Uh, you casted Loi the Legends with Doubt and MBL once, I think. Yeah, someone just asked me here uh, for perspective uh, when I'm going to bring in pros to cast Loi the Legends again. And it's been a long time since we've done that. And I think the one that would be really fun... Like, MBL is amazing if he's in the mood. I don't really foresee him being interested, but I think one that might be fun is, is Jordan or Doubt. Um, I forget who I'd brought in before. I recall asking a lot of players who, who basically declined and I'm not going to out them and, uh, you know, lead, have that lead to you guys leaving comments. They're like, hey, please cast low elo, you turd, you know. Um, but yeah, it, it's a good idea. I'll leave it at that. OK, so blue has already shown the understanding of prioritizing the other wood lines, but there's also stone and gold down here as well. And they actually did a really good job balancing this map for the latter version. There were some bad ones in the past where the neutral golds and stones just didn't spawn uh, fairly. So like, eliminate these two golds and just pretend that they were like one here and one here, for example. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think what they actually did is they added more gold and stone as well, just to make it a bit more spread out. Uh, but there's wide open spaces in the north and in the south. That's going to be your farmland, most likely, if the game goes on for a very long time. But we'll see. I don't really have anything else to talk about, except for the fact that I think Vietnamese are underrated. Specifically, think Vietnamese Cav Archers are underrated. Because the bonus is their Archers have more HP, which includes Cav Archers. A lot of people forget that. What does a Heavy Cav Archer for Vietnamese have with HP? It's like... Uh, I, I forget the math, but it's, it's significant. I think it's like 90 HP. Um, and you don't need to research anything for that too. 
I see gold mining coming in for Dragula. I want to say Dracula every time I see this person's name. Um, and, you know, that's probably going to be archers in the long run then. Get a StarCraft commentator to cast Lel with you? Well, I don't really have good... Like, I don't know any StarCraft traders, right? Um, or, or know them well. And I think the most important thing for me to put on a good show and me to cast is, is to... I mean, I can do it, right? I can go in and cast with someone I haven't casted before, but having good synergy is part of it. Also, I played two StarCraft games in my entire life. So I don't know if that would necessarily be too good. All right, so this is the the um, the wood region for GG Napoli. And we even have the barracks down there. It's kind of funny. Normally, players will take the wood that's closer to their TC, but it's also in the middle. So it's a nice little nook, nice little safety region for GG here. Uh, Dash and I will probably cast uh, some more together. I haven't spoken to him recently to figure out when, but Dash and I will probably cast some age. Maybe even next week, actually. Whoa, and now Blue's going over here. This is interesting. Okay, so Blue is, I think, intentionally trying to hide where these villagers are because... They're exposed. Oh, boy. Oh, God. The town bell has been rung. The town bell has been unrung now, and Blue is running away. Oh, God. Stop it. I can't. Okay. Sorry. I had to step away for a second. All right. So, 950 ELO. They did a really good job with their Dark Age, producing villagers for consistently. Will Blue recognize that in Feudal Age, you get extra attack? No, because that would that would be an easy win actually for Blue if that fight was taken. Uh, what do you think about towering the woodline? Towering the woodline is great, but will you scout it in time is the question, right? So like, if Yellow would have scouted Blue's woodline and Yellow was on the way now, it would be good. But normally, I think towering the woodline is good if it's the middle woodline. Um, so we'll see. Okay, so. We had double bid axe researched. What other technology was researched here by Blue to take Blue up to 90 gold? Or did I? Am I forgetting it? It's not 40 gold per tech, is it? Is it 40 gold per tech now? I, again, apologies. I, I've seen a couple games with it. It's still fresh for me. I haven't actually played with the new Spanish yet. It must be 40 gold per tech. Oh, wait. No, Loom. 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 Okay. Loom counts. I think Feudal Age doesn't count. So the next age doesn't count. Forgot about Loom. Yeah. That makes sense. It's going to say 40 gold significant. 20 gold? Listen, this is this is what I think about the bonus. Um, I haven't actually put... Um, I haven't actually said it in, in depth in my video. I touched on it briefly. But I... um. It, it feels a little gimmicky. I'm not sure if anyone else agrees. The bonus feels a little forced and gimmicky. Spanish had been around a long time. So I wasn't really initially a fan of it because it felt forced and gimmicky. However, it's not a massive change to how Spanish are played. It does give them a little bit more of a boost. And I think it adds a lot of fun to playing them because there's different build orders you can do. Um, so like Portuguese getting the wood bonus, for example, from berries created some different builds and things you could try. I I kind of like it. But we'll see how things pan out here. Uh, we have Blue making scouts, by the way. And the scouts are over here. But Blue is still trying to push in deer. And we've done a lot of casting of players around 1,000 ELO today. And the amount of time someone's trying to push in deer and they forget to build houses is... I, honestly, I think it's happened every time. But... Blue being as greedy as possible, getting as much food eco as possible, and just kind of waiting for the enemy. Meanwhile, the enemy is also pushing deer. You're in feudal age, guys. <laughs> Man, people are obsessed with deer around 1,000 elo. You're in feudal. <laughs> like, make army and attack. <laughs> I wonder if it's possible that attacking... It's so difficult to get value from the attacks. It's so easy to make a mistake and throw your army away. 
that players have just decided, let's not do that. Um, interesting that the farms are next to the mill. And also interesting that yellow is, is stopped production. It looks like yellow is waiting for Castle Age right now. Definitely a mix of two strategies, right? Like making archers, but then also planning on a fast castle and also planning for a castle where you can make a different type of archer. Hmm. If Hera does it, then so do I. Well, that's the thing. Like everyone pushes some deer at the high level, but usually they're if they're making army, they're being a bit aggressive, right? But I think it, there's something satisfying about pushing in deer that... It leads people to always want to push them. Now, guys, check this out. Blue, getting bloodlines, getting forging now, getting a lot of these technologies, and has been mining gold. So got gold from getting eco upgrades and getting loom. Now is going to get gold by researching some of these technologies. But the scouting from Yellow was epic. Uh, Yellow knew this was coming. I'm just wondering if Yellow realizes just how many upgrades these scouts are going to have. Um... Okay. The town bell does force a lot of villagers to go idle that aren't... They're not in harm's way. They're in that TC now. And that is worsening the economy for yellow. Idle time rising. Awkwardness is rising as well. It's an open map, right? So scouts really work well here for blue. But yellow... If yellow can track this, maybe there's a chance. You could tell yellow's worried now. Look at these vills. I think they're being pulled away from the lumber camp. Yep, there are the scouts. Good, good awareness from yellow. I wouldn't expect yellow to be able to, like, quickly wall these in. This is 950 elo. Yeah, a lot of 950 elo players can do it, but yellow hasn't really shown the any interest in quick walling anything else. And now what? You are in the castle age. 19 minutes, not bad. <laughs> the idle time's crazy. <laughs> um, there you go, the villagers. It, please, please tell me your castle dropping blue. Nah, there's not enough commitment. Okay, we have a tower. And, oh, please, 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 please. Wait, wait, wait. Does yellow know where the eco is? Yellow doesn't know. Normally, there's a woodland. Yellow doesn't know where this is. Because yellow is pushing deer. <laughs> and also, it's very sneaky. You can't build on the rock terrain, guys. You cannot build on the rock terrain. Will yellow see anything that says this is a good castle spot? The gold? Scout's still looking for damage. Town bell's being wrong. I can't. I can't look back there. You know how I feel about the bell. I just can't. Oh, is he going to drop it right there? Are you kidding me, bro? Yellow, I love you so much. Please. Please. That's so bold. <laughs> oh, please drop it. Shh. Be quiet, guys. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. <laughs> oh, God. This is crazy. Yellow, build the castle. <laughs> oh, okay. So, honestly... I don't know what to tell you, Blue. Like, you got to fight this off in some way, right? So you got to bring your scouts home and hope for the best. You could do that in tower at the same time, but you have to stop this. So you YOLO everything you can. Sending the Vils is the correct play. Here come the scouts. The castle's at 70%. Now, from Yellow's perspective, if this goes up, you will kill Blue Villagers. So it's okay to lose your Vils. You have to click like crazy here because your Villagers get pulled off if they're getting attacked. Click, 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 click. Click it. Click it like it's hot. And the castle's gonna go up. And you garrison now. And Blue does not know what to do. Well, Blue, you can still do this, Blue. Make rams. You can still do this. Don't give up on life just yet. Ay, ay, ay. Is Blue planning on using the town center to shoot down the castle? Is Blue going to drop their own castle here? Blue is the stone for it. Uh. 
This is insane. Their rats and archers being masked, by the way, so they could hop out. Blue has the eco lead. Blue deletes farms. And is going to drop his own castle! What? Okay, but yellow... Like, you gotta, you gotta get out of here, Blue. Because yellow's doing the right thing. Just sitting the archers right on the side. What in the, in the world is this? Now, what should be a big positive right now for yellow is that this economy is untouched. But this isn't exactly that efficient. Like, I think blue's efficiency is higher. Well, no, that's that's a lie. Blue just has wood. That's it. But the castle could be shot down. That's the ridiculous thing. This castle's at 3,400 HP. I think yellow needs to pull the archers and just sit them here. Murder holes! Okay, all right, all right. That makes sense. By the way, I don't think I've had market events on all day. Look at how much they've used the market here. I always toggle that on and off for different things. Murder holes is huge. And I think they made a change where murder holes research is faster now, too. So now everything that blue has here will die if yellow remembers that he clicked. Like, if you tell your castle to attack something, like, right-click it, it will always do that. And that's what happened here for yellow. But I guess once the TC's down, if it goes down, it will change things. But Murder Holes has not actually benefited yellow yet, and now it is. Okay. Wait, what? Did Murder Holes get canceled? I'm very confused. Twenty-eight villagers versus thirty-six. Murder holes doesn't necessarily stop Yellow's castle from going down to Blue's castle, but Yellow will have army, and Blue taps out and calls the GG. No response from Yellow. Is Blue thinking if I don't give the GG back, I'm not calling it here? I've seen this before. It happens. Yeah, to be fair to Yellow, even if Yellow is a gg -er, it's possible Yellow doesn't didn't see it because Yellow's heart is beating so fast and Yellow is focused. The GG has been called, and Blue has not tapped out of the game. Um, what a game! What a moment! I, I you know what's so funny to me, guys. So blue is making the lumber camps on the sides, probably thinking if I hide it, then I won't be hit by anything, right? But if blue had made a lumber camp here, yellow would have seen it, and I'm pretty sure yellow would have castle dropped there. The only reason yellow castle dropped here was because yellow couldn't find anything to hit. Yellow did not know where to go with the castle and said, well, I don't know where the crap this guy is. He must have everything up on the hill and then walked up onto the hill to drop the castle. So it's one of those funny moments where Blue's creativity might have actually hurt him, but honestly, it was a very good game. I love the commitment from Yellow. So often, you just need to commit to something crazy, and it can work. And Castle Drop is one of the classic Age of Empires 2 strategies, and if it hits you at that time, it's extremely difficult to stop. It did feel like there was a time there when this castle went up, now, again, we're, we're not looking at pro level. We're looking at 950 ELO. So average ELO, let's say. Or even above that. But, like, <clears throat> when Blue notices this, how many villas did we have? Okay, so we have nine villagers total. Okay, so I think Blue notices this here. And if you immediately drop a tower which might not feel natural because yellow has archers, but if you immediately send your bills and drop a tower, I actually think you deny this. And then it's obviously an easy win from there. But, like, that's noticed. So if the tower was going up already, and then the bills came, and then the extra scouts came, maybe it gets denied. But hard to do all that in the moment because it freaks you out. And then once the castle was up, even though it did look like blue might have still had a shot and blue tried everything... It was always going to be difficult. But dang. Um, I don't think blue had a shot from here. Like, obviously, yellow's economy isn't good. 
But yellow can find the wood lines eventually. Um, I, yellow didn't find them. But if yellow were to have looked, those villagers would die. That would lead to 10 villagers going down. Yellow also could make more villagers out of the town center and not get hit by anything. But to be honest, there wasn't a good economy here. It's a fair point. You got one farm. You have no other food eco, no upgrades even. So it was that all in for yellow. I think though yellow would have eventually, like this castle would have never gone down because yellow was just sitting here repairing it. So I, I still think that was probably a good GG from blue. And, uh, you know, glad we got to see an eventful game today. I think that's the most YOLO castle drop we've seen in many, many months here on the channel. 32 kills, nine deaths. Um, that is more YOLO of a castle drop. Look at blue. Such a frustrating loss. I play so good. I I do all the right things, and then that kills me. Ugh. I, I've been there, buddy. I've been there. But that castle drop felt more aggressive than castle drops you see on castle drop maps, like Arena. There was huge risk there. The opponent had army. He then walked up the hill to drop the castle. Poof. So I just saw this. The game ends, right? The GG's called. And I think Blue is, is thinking exactly what I just said. I collected so many resources. I did everything right and I still lost the game. So Blue is just like a little dumbfounded by it and needs to understand and says, you win your game how this? Question mark every time. And then Yellow says question mark and Blue just says go, which is maybe buy. I think Blue is basically like, is this all you do? Is this how you play the game? Because Blue thinks I just lost to a, a one trick. However, it does make me wonder, how does Yellow win games? So actually, I'm going to look at that. <laughs> we need to find out. It might just be a one-off, but maybe Yellow does it every time. All right, so I decided to download this Yellow Players game that was played just before the game we just finished where there was a castle drop. And we're going to speed through it. It's not going to be a standard cast. It's Vietnamese again for yellow, which tells yellow where the enemy is. Which is why I think there's a chance that this player is actually castle dropping on Acropolis, which, to repeat myself, is freaking epic and unique. Uh, oh, God, we have a lame as well. Oh, that's this. Okay, well, a failed lame. That's no. That's just not. Just stop trying. No. <laughs> Maybe this is why we're seeing Vietnamese. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Scout's weak now. Uh, but anyways, like people castle drop on Arena and all these different maps all the time, which makes sense because there's safety on those. And people feel too safe. But if we were to see archers in a forward castle drop again here, I'd be very happy. On stone again. Stone gold. I think it was gold stone before. I don't know if that timing really matters. By the way, in order for a boar to chase you, uh, you need to go for two hits on the boar. Not one. Okay. Still isn't clicked up to feudal. This is not so good. But this is the same thing. Yellow's pushing in all the deer. The resources will be looking good to go castle age. We will have enough stone for a castle. It's so crazy YOLO. And similar to the previous game, blue is going scouts, but blue is going scouts late. Right? Like the timing could be better. Or maybe it won't even be scouts. Maybe it'll just be saving up for castle age. Spearman. Archer range. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Okay. Castle age is on the way. Very villagers are going to go. No. It goes the army. Oh, <gasps> yes. Yes, it's happening. It's happening. 
This is a thing. This is a strat on Acropolis of all maps. It's such a rare map. We don't see it that much. And then blue, very similar to the other player that ran into this guy, is like, he's waiting for army or whatever. It's completely fine. Like, his castle age time is fine. What's not going to be fine is when a castle goes up on his freaking face. And it's so risky. So he's building it now. And the castle's on the way up. But if it completes... Look, blue's going for a tower. Here, let's slow it down. Sorry. This is really close, actually. Blue's going for a tower. Blue's bringing the knights. The castle's at 80%. It's so bold, man. Okay, it's at 91%. Will this go up? I think it will. I think he's got enough vills. Completes it with three villagers. And now, Blue's got a castle on his TC. And there's villagers all around. And your game plan's just out the window. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> And this needs more investigation, for sure. This guy actually does it on all maps, and then he goes murder holes, right? Yeah, because he went murder holes last time. And he's making the Rattans. He did get Fletching this game, so his castle and his Rattan archers will be a bit stronger. He also has more farms. <laughs> huh. I guess in this game, he wasn't scout rushed, and then the first time we saw him, he was scout rushed. The Acropolis Castle Dropper. It, I'm so pumped about this. Now, let's see how long this game actually goes. I honestly do not see how you can win the game from here. If you're blue, right? Rats and archers can hop over here, shoot the knights. If the knights attack, they die to the castle. The TC goes down. You can't really defend from the rats and archers once you have no town center. Um... But yeah, you see, like, Blue's trying to stay underneath the castle, which is smart. But Yellow will just click back into the castle or away at any time. I mean, I think something you could try is if you could get the knights away, you could send it to Yellow's base. And try and deny Yellow's resources, but it still doesn't save the fact, like, save you from losing everything at home. Wow. So, what's interesting is the first guy... The first game we saw, right, the guy who just played him, he said, "Is basically, is this all you do? And then Yellow was confused by the question. But I'm glad we checked, because apparently, at least currently, this is all Yellow does. And I don't want to spoil it for the poor guy if you run into him, but that's pretty freaking cool. So, kind of a fast castle of sorts, some army to support it, and then just YOLOs it. And the thing is, is, you can get away with this at this elo because players aren't fast enough with the scout rush. Uh, and players don't expect that level of boldness. And and you get away with it on this map because if you lose the hill, it's like kind of where you have everything. I guess you could have a, a couple remnants of eco on the sides like we had seen, but still have your golds and your farms up here. Dang. Someone says, find a loss. What beats this? Well, probably just stopping the castle. <laughs> probably just having army. <laughs> that would be my guess. Um, let's see what we can find here. We're speeding through. This is a game that was played prior to the Acropolis game. So the only other games this guy has played has been um, on <clears throat> um, Arena. And there was like Arena team games. And, and then there was this. And then there was obviously the two Acropolis games. There's also an enclosed game, which was Vietnamese. So... I think his whole strategy is always around castle dropping people. And on Arena, it's easy to know where they are. And oh my god, he found both stones too. Oh, uh, he got super lucky to see both stones. If he's thinking about it, he should drop it there. But let's see. The barracks? Well, he does like to make army for control, so... Okay. Making archers. Red's going to be in Castle Age. Ooh, Red's going to drop a castle. Is Red going to castle drop and then lose the archer? Oh! 
Oh my god, that's funny. That is funny, man. Red lost 10 bills. <laughs> I lost all the bills. <laughs> oh, you can't make it up. So Red was going to try and castle drop the wrong guy. <laughs> and now Red is nine villagers. Oh, shoot, dude. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. The funny thing is we're going backwards in the story, right? We started with the most recent live game. Then we saw what happened on the other Acropolis game. And now this was the game before it. It would have been so much better for Red if he just castled from home. Well, now, I mean, Red, he's not going to be able to make many units, and Red just leaves the game. Wow, that's so funny. Because if he knew, if Red knew Yellow's reputation, the castle goes up at home, and then a castle beats a crep post, and then Red's completely fine. Wow, that's great. Also, Yellow's scouting was really good. He tracked that coming in. Um, like, I want to show this again. I'll slow it down a little bit more. Yeah, so he sees the stone, and he's probably still thinking he's going to go forward. He's looking around, looking around, sees the stone. I mean, this is a really crazy build, and then sees the bills. Yeah. Yeah, and then also there's no loom for red, right? Like, red is no farms, no berries anymore, no loom. This is as all in as it gets. And the archers were there, and yeah, it's perfect. Okay. Um... Dang. Okay, so I, I want to show the enclosed game. And I want to see what happens there. And then we will have to stop the investigating for now. I have obligations to play a team game, but this is all excellent content. Okay, so what's this? Darrow boss. Darrow boss. All right. So here's enclosed. And oh, well, yellow is AFK, actually, at the start. But the idea is still here for yellow, where yellow knows now where the enemy is. And oh my god, he's trying to steal all the buffaloes. Okay. I mean, he's, he's going to lose his scout and not get the buffaloes, but blue definitely struggled there. Oh god, both scouts died. What? What is happening? He's TC dropping. What is this player, man? <laughs> What? This guy's insane. <laughs> I'm sorry. Give me a second to process this information. So he's TC dropping. And th this is a TC drop with no backup plan. Okay? This is a TC drop where you're hoping the opponent just resigns because they don't know what to do. Because they're cornered. But, like, ideally you have at least 10 villagers so you can really max out on the amount of arrows you shoot. And let's see how stubborn blue is here. Uh. Bro. Okay, back in the TC he goes. Blue's not repairing the TC. Blue's also running around with these villagers. And I, I guess, like, for a second there, yellow wasn't sure if blue was going to do anything. What? Is he... <laughs> Does that stop Blue from repairing? Is that the idea? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Walling in the enemy TC foundation. Blue doesn't have loom. Oh, Blue, can Blue get loom? Blue got loom. Okay, now the TC's down. Now, Yellow, you might want to delete your gates. Oh, oh my god, he deleted the next TC too? What? Okay. Well, you've got one vill now. I th this guy's interesting. I I actually feel like a TC drop on this map could be really good. Uh and and obviously like stealing the resources is also really good. How that panned out was not so good. Blue's probably very confused <laughs> as am I. But Dragu is a legend. And, I mean, at the very least, just from the Acropolis game to the Arena game. And those are the only games I've seen of this guy. The only ones. Every single one was a banger.
Um, so I will have to investigate more. Unfortunately, I'm not able to download games after like the most recent five. Uh, the way Microsoft stores it, they immediately like get rid of recorded games after four or five games. So I can't like go back through weeks worth of games like you could in the old days. Um, so I might need to find some other way to investigate it, but sheesh. It's not every day that we find a player who's unique enough where we then investigate, and it's not every day it's that great. So, good stuff. So, ladies and gents, please leave a comment letting me know what you think about this guy. Again, for full perspective, we didn't see any other games. Every single game that we saw from this guy was freaking hilarious, and this player is still playing, so I'm keeping an eye on him, and if you guys are interested, maybe can bring you a second episode. What I love about it is that he just goes into each game with a plan, and clearly he started maybe just making the castle or making the crap post and then along the lines realized oh people are stopping that people have figured this out i need to make this stronger and so he's maybe not even final form but he's officially arrived to a point where he is now well over a thousand elo so something's working and man is it fun to watch